<clears throat> okay. Just heading out for a ride on the board. And uh, yeah. Just felt like talking about. Um, basically wanted to talk a little bit about um, something I've realized fairly recently is that um, I was feeling really low on energy and it was weird to me because I was I was getting a lot of sleep I was getting good sleep um, I wasn't like working too hard or anything um, But just generally speaking, I was feeling <clears throat> like I didn't have energy for anything. <laughs> I didn't have any motivation, um, any desire to really do the things that I needed to do, or yeah, do what needs to be done, basically, taking responsibilities for the things I need to take responsibility for. Um, and it's not out of a get past these people. It wasn't out of a desire to, that I didn't want to do those things. Um, but it was basically that I just, yeah, just didn't have the energy, physic uh, well, I had the energy physically, but I was still lacking it in some way. And um, I spoke to a friend and they basically said, oh, maybe like you having enough fun. And I was like, actually, you know what? I've not, I'd not been having, I'd not been actively pursuing fun in my sort of day to day, week to week, um, how I was living. I was taking things very seriously, feeling like, uh, you know, the only things that matter in life are just making money and, um, you know, they're just general, the general things that we need to do. Um, and I was sort of forgetting about the importance of just, you know, taking time for a bit of fun as well. And um, hence why right now I'm out on my skateboard. Um, and yes, because basically after I had that chat with her, I basically said, I basically went paddleboarding um, a couple of days later. And it was just, oh, it was just like, it was just great fun. It was just great to be out on the river. The weather was, the weather was awesome sun was out and um, yeah it just made me remember as well like a few a couple of years back I'd uh, I was I wasn't living where I am now I was living in a town called Froome it's like 45 minutes from Bristol which is where I live now And um, yeah, I, back then I was just going, I went through a bit of a, a hard time, not really knowing who I was, where I was going in life, all that usual stuff that I think a lot of us go through. Um, I just sort of come, away, come out of a full-time job. Um, gone back to working freelance and uh, yeah I basically <clears throat> didn't really know what my next steps were it's really windy today I hope you can hear me okay I didn't really know what ne my next steps to take were um, and um, oh no Um, sorry, that's distracting me, that. Um, my trail of thought. Um, yeah, I, I didn't know what to do next, and so, and I was getting really bad about it, um, and that was when I actually w was starting to get, I was, I've always done skateboarding growing up. It's like one of the first things that I actually really got into as a kid, and um, 
yeah, I was really looking at like electric skateboards online and I was like, that looks like really good fun. Um, and I had a go on a mates as well around that time. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get one. Um, I hope you can hear me in here as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna get one of these. And for me, that's really difficult. I hate, I'm not very good at spending money on myself. Um, I'll like contemplate things for ages and ages and ages and won't make a choice, won't make a decision. <laughs> um, constantly criticizing myself, whether it's the right thing to do. Um, but anyway, after a while, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. So I ended up getting a skateboard. Getting, well, getting this electric skateboard. That's probably like three years ago now, I reckon. Um, and yeah, I was just thinking like it really helps. Just like if you if you're ever stuck, or if ever I find myself stuck, just getting out and doing something that I I find fun, just really like clears and unblocks my mind to get past this cyclist. Um, yeah, because it's very easy to just get stuck and just overlook things. Um, whereas, like now, I can just—I've just come out, <sighs> have a bit of fun on this, not take life too serious. And then that sort of lines me up better for um, the rest of the day and I can do the things that I, any tasks at home that need doing or work admin, whatever it might be. Ooh. Um, yeah, and it just, um, it definitely helps. I definitely recommend that. Try to get past these guys. <coughs> um. Because I think as guys, we definitely put a lot of, uh, well, for me as a guy anyway, I definitely put a lot of pressure on my on my shoulders to you know, always be always feel like I'm working at hundred percent of my ability, my capacity, which to be honest just isn't realistic. Um, I always have days where I'm some days I do better than others, other days where I do not so good. Um, and I have to remind myself <laughs> fairly regularly, just like Ollie, just chill out, mate. Just uh, break up your day. Um, and I think the other thing is, I think with them, um, when you. The reason I've been trying to prioritise having more fun more recently is I think it's. It's probably the easiest way to get out of those bad thoughts, those negative habits. Um, especially when you, you pick something easy to do. Like for this, this is a case of putting on a helmet, um, grabbing the board, going out the door, and I'm away. Um, doesn't require organizing anything with anyone else. Um, yeah, you don't have to call up any friends, make any other arrangements. 
grab the board and go. Woo. And uh, yeah, so I definitely recommend that if you're in a bit of a being a bit stuck with your next steps, getting on with the things you need to prioritise, just just be kind to yourself, really, because You know, no one can function properly when they're being hard on themselves. Um, and yeah, just try and find something to do that's easy, like this, really. Um, you know, maybe it's cycling or uh, even going for a walk, but I think it really helps, whatever it is. If it's something that you're doing in your body, it gets you in your body, out of your head. I know this is all stuff that's kind of like loads of people talk about this. this isn't anything groundbreaking or new but I know sometimes it for me it helps to have a reminder and I like I was saying my friend reminded me of that the other day um, and then once you sort of go home and you're like your mind's sort of clear it's like Right, it sort of like it helps you make those next steps because when I was before I went like before I'd moved back to Bristol and I got just got the board, I'd um, <coughs> uh, I was then finding once I had the board, I was enjoying using it so much and I was finding it such a a benefit to uh, the way I was feeling back then that I then found myself constantly. Um, driving from Froome back to Bristol in uh, uh, over the summer just so I could use the board um, just because Bristol was a lot better place for something like like the skateboard um, and that actually helped me with my next uh, my next steps my next steps really it helped me know that I needed to that I wanted to come back to Bristol this is where I wanted to be again um, and that's kind of what I wanted to get out really um, with this video, it's just like sometimes you've got to find something that's gonna you know break you out of that mindset and that will help you help you to know what to do next rather than ruminating over and over in your mind about what to do. <laughs> Because <clears throat> I feel like I'm in that fit space again, really, of uh, trying to figure out my next steps. And um, finding I'm being, I can be very impatient. I want answers now. I want to do know what the next thing I'm doing is right now. I can't. <laughs> I find it hard to be patient and wait. And that's when having things like this as, as a hobby really just helps. Breaks that cycle of thought. Get some fresh air, some fresh perspective. <laughs> Thank you. 
Anyway, that's all I wanted to say, really. Um, just going to ride for a bit now. Feel free to hang around. Appreciate it if you've watched this far. <laughs> Yeah, find something, find something fun to do. Um, you won't regret it. Also, I might, uh, I might do a new video, video soon where I just drive, uh, where I ride my board through, um, through and around Bristol. Um, just showing some of the sort of best parts of Bristol that I like to ride through on my board. Um, and it also probably be a good way, good for, um, for cyclists as well. Might be quite an enjoyable route for cycling. Um, so yeah, be sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff if you want to, that might interest you.